hello what's up and welcome to this channel and in this video guys i'm going to show you how to play new super mario bros u for the same emulator guys on your pc with another friend so that means i'm going to show you how to connect a second controller and play in the same level on the same pc with each other and when anything further ado guys before i go actually gonna to hop to my video guys i'm gonna just gonna let you know that i stream every sun friday sunday and sunday on twitch uh kazite games i'm gonna leave the link in the description below and i'm gonna leave it on the screen it's going to show up here somewhere and with anything further ado guys let's hop to my stop and let's show you let let you know how to set it up and play with your friends let's do this all right before we gonna start the tutorial guys i just want to mention that if you're watching this tutorial right now then you probably have the emulator already installed you got your game as well you have updated and uh you have updated your game on the same you end update the dlc and uh, you probably want to know how to set up right and you probably probably if i'm not wrong you have a second controller as well so for my tutorial guys i use a xbox one controller and i use a actually a pro controller but from the pro controller that I have for my switch so i use a pro controller for my for the switch and i use the xbox one controller for this tutorial so you probably have all those set up and ready to go so the what you need is only to show you how to do it just follow my steps and nothing can go wrong right so i'm working here on samu 1.19.3 and uh, what you need to do, open SEMU. This was loud. Let's close this window. Let's open it all the way to the bank. Well, you know what? Let's do actually like that. It looks good. All right. We go into options. We go to input settings. And as you might see, I have nothing. Okay, this one I have to clear. Sorry. I'm not sorry. All right. It's gonna look for you like that if you're gonna set it up the first time. I'm just actually gonna do that so I'm gonna show you in detail what you need to do so you can not go wrong, right? It's like it's like super in depth. All right. So if the first controller, guys, you're gonna use your main control. What you need to do is you gonna for emulator controller you can use a Wii U, Wii U gamepad, right? And if you have Xbox One controller, guys, go for um, X input and if you have a wireless control you go for direct input because you see wireless is direct input and uh, if you have it connected with the USB cable go for X input so you click now on the A and this just follow just put the, the key keys in right so we do B uh, Xbox control please uh, oh I, I forgot to collect the, collect the controller so yeah, Xbox, Xbox input and then like your controller, you go to controller 1 and you do A on the Xbox it's something else, it's like B but anyways, A, B, X, Y, L, R we're gonna set everything from scratch, right? Z, X, plus, minus, it's like select and start and then like you click in and up, down, left, right and then the same thing, up, down, left, right and then here up down left right for the d-pad and for the blow mic guys just use the f button on your keyboard and you're good to go so the first one we're gonna name um, main xbox main x box main so this so you know this is the first controller and you're gonna use this as i saw i showed you we your gamepad and all that and to save it right this is done so what we need to do now, we're gonna set up the same controller and control it too. Keep that in mind. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna do go to now and instead for put it in Wii U gamepad, we're gonna use the for the, the same controller on the second controller with the Wii U controller. And it's gonna be the same X input. We're gonna use again the same controller, but only the only difference gonna be that it's gonna be a prone controller now. And I will ex uh, explain more uh, about why we're gonna do that. But just follow my lead, right? So the first controller, and we're gonna use the same one in the controller two, but as a pro controller. So pro controller, X input, controller one, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna remap it again. Uh, I'm gonna clear this actually, can I clear? Yeah, okay, clear it. And again, A, B, X, Y, 
um, LR ZR plus minus up, uh, oh sorry this was wrong click it in up down left right and then like again in up down left right and uh, here up down left right all right so this is now the pro con this is the same controller this is the same controller controller one but we uh, mapping it on the controller two but for the only difference that it's a pro controller so this is done so what you're going to name it now we're going to write again um, we're going to call it x xbox main and just pro because it's this it's the same control it's the main control but it's now it's pro control setup so we know what's good that's done now the last one the controller 3 is going to be actually your second controller, right? This is now, now I'm setting up my um, uh, Pro Controller, my Switch Pro Controller, guys, right? So what you need to do here is we're going to Pro Controller, but instead we're going to use Direct Input and we're going to use the Controller Xbox, no, the Wireless Gamepad. And if you don't know, guys, you can even connect your uh, Switch Pro Controller on your PC, but uh, you can only play. Um, uh, it's only function. It's only functions with emulators. Um, I didn't uh, try. I didn't like try it out with PC games, but I don't think it's gonna work. Anyways, so the third controller, guys, gonna be actually your second controller. That's the. Switch, the, yeah, the Switch Pro controller. That's why I'm setting up now. You're gonna put again Wii Pro controller. Now you're gonna go. It's, it depends on is it connected with the cable. You can use X input, but is it not in the USB connected and it's wirelessly connected? That's for my case. You go with direct input because if you go to X input, you do not gonna see it, right? So we go into direct input and you're gonna see it here. Wireless gamepad. And now I'm gonna use my X, Xbox, but I don't have webcam on because I know some people like, oh, he just on one gonna fam be famous and blah, 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 and show his style. So I, that's not the case here. So again, and on a, on Switch, uh, on, a, on a Switch Pro Controller, guys, you just you have actually all the buttons as like a Nintendo button. So it's A is A. Oops, see, is that not connected with the wireless? Come on. Yeah, it is, cool. Let me clear it so I can show you actually it works. So A, um, B, B, X. Oh my God! Come on. Why? <laughs> Please. Okay, it's it's lagging a little bit. It's wirelessly connected, but I think because um, L R. There we go. Uh, left Z, right Z, plus. Come on, controller. Okay, now. And up down left right and then like we click in up down left right and then up down left right so with that all done guys you're gonna call this one um switch um pro um two so we know this is the second controller and we're gonna save it. So if you did all that guys, you more than good to go. You just, just close it and we go into our game. Just, oh, adjust my FPS as well. Good, this is good to you know. It's probably loud as heck. I'm gonna turn the audio down, hold up. Da, 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 da. Input settings. I hope not. It's general settings. I hope so. Audio. Oh geez. Where can I turn it down? All right. I'm gonna turn it to ten. I hope it's not too loud. Anyways, um, now you take your main controller, guys. Your first controller. And as you might say, I have already save file. Go Wii U gamepad, just go inside the game normally, nothing too crazy, we're gonna make it bigger here. And what you need to do is just click start and go to change controller and it sells to switch to remote. It's gonna switch automatically actually, you see, I don't do anything. 
So what happens now, we actually changed, we changed now to, to, to the pro controller. What, what happens because we do that, we did that setup, you can still control with your, with your first controller, even if it's not, it's supposed to be the second. So what you need to do now, after you did that, you click start, play of num uh, numbers of players, sorry, numbers of players, and as you might see, I can, I can move the first one with my first controller and the second one with my Switch Pro Controller. So we're gonna choose Toad here. <laughs> Yo, this Toad man, I told, I tell you my friends, I tell you. All right, we're gonna go to the Layer Cake Desert. Uh, okay, we have to wait for something. All right. <laughs> and by the way, I enhanced the game as well, so it looks good. And I'm gonna let you see the FPS and things, so I could do full screen, but I don't want to. All right, you control everything with the with the with the first control. As you might see, I'm separated from Toad, right? But this I can show you that I can move both. You see, and separately. Hold up, sorry, I, I have only two hands. So there we go. See, jump here, move, jump. As you might see, right? So that works. That's how you do it, guys. That's oh Toad. Sorry, I killed Toad. Okay, let me let me get Toad actually back. So that's how you do it, guys. That's how you play multiplayer su new Super Mario Bros. U on the same U emulator, guys. It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy, nothing too crazy. That's how you do it. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If it's if it wasn't if it wasn't if it was helpful, guys, let me, uh, give it a like. And if it wasn't not helpful, give me a dislike and let me know in the comment section what I did wrong, what I could do better. And before I end this video, guys, I'm gonna let you one more time know that I stream on Twitch every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Come and check me out.